Welcome class to another session of Keys to Painting with Mr. Weekman. In this session we're going to be covering the golden mean. You may think to yourself that I'm talking about how the golden rule might be something and mean is what I want, you know, I don't know, some mathematical thing, the mean of two, yeah, those are maybe some ideas that are formulating. What the golden mean in art is, is this formula and this mathematical idea that has been discovered throughout all of time is what our eye sees as appealing. Now, if we look at this actual um, image of what the golden mean is, you see that it's pretty much this circular image where this, and then you take three-fifths of it, you get this, and then three-fifths of it, you get that, and three-fifths of it, you get that, and that, and that, and then it just continues going and going and going. Um, but where do we see this, you may ask? Now, if you look at some of these really famous works of art, you can see that it follows the same principle of the golden mean when it comes to size. Now, including this in your work is an easy way for there to be an intrigue in it. Now, how would you do that? Breaking up your work in different ways so that it would include different objects in these different spaces. And you'll see that even, you know, they figured out that the Mona Lisa has a good example of the golden mean. And um, what else do they got here? You know, pretty much all these different things have these shapes that break up the work into that unique stylized um, mathematical ratio. Even your human body, the human face, they figured that the human face that's closest to the golden mean is actually going to be the most attractive looking face to the human eye. So they've done certain studies on different actors and actresses and it's usually those actors and actresses that you hear about in the news as being, you know, most attractive, whatever, this year or that year. They do studies of their faces and they find out that those people are usually have faces that are closest to the golden mean. Even sometimes they say that they have too, too perfect of a face, which makes them actually a little awkward to look at. Like you can't quite just look at them like a normal person because of how close their face is to that golden mean. Interesting, a little weird, but also intriguing. Now, use that in your artwork. Think about that ratio. Um, and remember that the more you use it, the easier it is to have a successful work. Using the golden mean in your work, very important. Thanks so much for stopping by again. I look forward to talking with you next time about design and how important that is in your work. Have a wonderful day and week, and afternoon, and night.